What's the stupidest reason you got woken up for? Obnoxiously loud buzz shriek of a national weather service warning to my cell phone at 3am telling me that in about an hour, it was going to be raining in a county 60 miles away. I figured out how to turn that crap permanently off. False positives generated by humans are unacceptable. One time I got a tornado warning. In November, I live near LA. My daughter always wakes up in the middle of the night. But it's not a quiet wake up. She's six she screams at the top of her lungs D-A-A-A-A-D. Emmy. What? Her. I can't sleep. Emmy. Emmy neither. Anytime I fall asleep at my mom's place, my 8 years old sister will shake me awake and ask what I'm doing. My brother saw colon 30 and assumed there was a 7 in front of it on Christmas morning. It was 3.30. Even on Christmas that's 4 hours too early. A bazillion years ago when I was 16 I was hospitalized for infectious mono and they would wake me up to ask if I needed a sleeping pill. I kid you not with this story, so my linear algebra professor decided to test us to see if we're truly learning the material in class. So he said your cell numbers are in the school system so I'm going to call each and every one of you at random one time during the quarter. I'm going to ask a linear algebra question and you have to answer it, or else you lose 5 points. I thought it was weird, but we decided to go along with it. 3 stroke 4 of the way through the quarter I completely forgot about it, and at like 3 in the morning my phone goes off. I wake up and answered it, hey, it's your math professor here, here's your question, how many vectors does it take to form a basis in R4, and what are the conditions needed to form it I paused for a second, and just no, I'm not doing this and hung up. The next day I talked to him after class and he said if you truly knew the material, you'd know it in your sleep I lost 5 points. But I didn't care that was the dumbest thing to do to wake a person up. I don't know my own name when I wake up from a deep sleep, much less linear freaking algebra. Being woken up to be told I'm going out, I would have gathered that by waking up and noticing that you weren't home. I would assume oh, she went out. This happens to Emmy all the time. I get woken up by someone yelling by Alex Storia I am going to the dentist mall work like thanks if only I could have figured that out myself. Sorry I'm a bit bitter about this. Coworker called me at 1.30am to call out for the following day. Coworker, not employee, and because of a sore throat. That crap happened to me too. Hey Emma be out tomorrow can you tell the boss? Can't you call her in the morning? Nope I'm going to be busy. It's literally just hey I won't be there. Okay have a good day. My dad, I think he had been smoking pot, but in a hoe. He woke me up at 3am in my senior year of high school to see if I wanted to drive him to Walmart so that he could buy tan mini blinds for the dining room. He handed me a piece of paper that he had supposedly written down the measurements of the windows. But it was just a list of candy. My mum woke me up at 7am on a Sunday when I was 15 to tell me that Princess Diana had died. I was annoyed and so I just said good, and went back to sleep. I was 18. And my mom woke me up at 7am to tell me that, too. I asked if Dodie was with her, and apparently nodded in approval when this was confirmed, and rolled over. My friend calls me, hey pork tacos can I borrow smash bros Malay? I would be grateful man. Dude it's 3.30am. Freaking wait until the sun is out dude took my word serious. Hey the sun is out, now can I get the game? Ah uh, sure. Sorry everyone. Tournament is delayed until sunrise, because someone was being a dong. Will mate you should have your own copy of the game if you're going to host a tournament. Steve. P off Jerry. My girlfriend punched me in the face. According to her, she just woke up from a dream, but was still in one of those weird half conscious, half dreaming states where she didn't really know where she was or what was going on. She said she looked beside her in bed, and saw some dark mass laying there that made her uncomfortable. So after watching it for a moment, she attacked it, ended up decking me square in the nose, hard, somehow, I instantly knew what happened, I shot up and yelled, babe, what the frick, she mumbled some half asleep apology, immediately rolled over, and went back to sleep, I, on the other hand, laid there unable to go back to sleep for 2 more hours because it's not exactly easy to do when you're woken like that, I was furious. It's one of my favorite stories about her us now. 
A couple of nights ago my husband flipped the light on in the middle of the night because he was looking for spiders hanging from the ceiling while he was dreaming. Twice. Two hours apart. Hey spiders can be scary. I speak Spanish but the rest of my family doesn't. One Saturday morning my dad was having a garage sale and woke me up at 7am to translate for some guy who didn't speak English and wanted to negotiate prices. So I dragged myself out of bed. I had a really late night the night before and was a little hungover. And went to talk to this guy about a punching bag. I was talking with him for about 5 minutes before I realized that he was speaking Portuguese and that I was having a one sided conversation with myself and neither of us could actually understand the other. TL. DR. Dad woke me up to translate for Spanish speaker at a garage sale. The guy was speaking Portuguese. Ouch. That's bitter and epic at the same time. My roommate and her boyfriend snuck in at 6am and tried to quietly have sex while I was sleeping in the other bed 2 feet away. Whoa. Frick that guy. If he's cool with that. My mum very excitedly woke me up to show me a recently dead bird that she had seen fly into our window. I told her that she wasn't a cat and as such this behavior was unacceptable. During college some drunk jackass tried and failed to cook grilled cheese at 2.30 in the morning. Set off the fire alarm for our 8th floor dorm. The campus police officer who showed up to help clear the scene stood on top of his cruiser and yelled who the frick burns grilled cheese at 2am. Dang that officer must have been green. Because my mom wants me to be awake. She doesn't have anything she wants me to do. She just doesn't want me sleeping if the sun is out. Most fun things for teenagers happen at around midnight. Wake her up then so she doesn't miss out. My manager once called me at 6am to ask if I saw his email he sent an hour before about shirt sizes for the new uniforms. I thought this them calling you about an email they just sent you was a thing that happened like right after email became an enterprise thing and it didn't happen anymore. Nope. At least once a week I get a call 30 seconds after I receive an email. My roommate, I love her so much, put an old potato in the microwave for 5 minutes. We don't know if it's because she didn't poke it with holes or if it's because it was old or if 5 minutes is too long for a raw potato but we had a food flare up. I wake up because the fire alarm is going off and I peek my head out and there's a small fire in the microwave. I blasted it with water from a spray bottle until it stopped glowing and we threw out the melted plate and blew the smoke out the windows and we laughed about it for like an hour. It was such a stupid situation. Who lights a fire in a microwave? Who fricks up baking a potato? Who's baking potatoes after midnight anyway? Why was it so funny to hold a melted plate in the middle of the night? It's actually one of my favorite college memories so far. As someone who once set a sweet potato on fire in the microwave, it pleases me to know I'm not the only one who made this mistake. I was having a nap one day. I very rarely nap. And a friend of mine who lives halfway across town charges into my room and screams do you have a phone book I was so dazed and confused that I didn't even consider asking why and just gave him the book. Years later at his wedding, I gave him a phone book of my new town. I will never forget the nap that got away. I'm a pretty heavy sleeper, especially after a night of drinking. One Saturday morning when I was in college I slept the fire alarm. I woke up when a security officer entered my entered my room and started yelling at me. Hey, why are you still here? Didn't you hear the alarm? I was still in my bed at that point and I just looked at him and said, I didn't hear it, I was sleeping. He then tells me that the fire alarm was set off in my room and starts rattling off questions. Were you smoking? Microwaving? Toasting? Lighting incense? I told him. No dude. I just told you I was sleeping. You literally just woke me up. At this point I could tell he was getting s bit frustrated. But so was I. He then tells me. Get up. You need to go outside with the others. I responded. Well can I at least get dressed? I'm not wearing boxers. After that he finally left and I put on some underwear and my robe and went outside. It turned out my smoke alarm was defective, which is why it set off the system and why I couldn't hear it as loudly as everyone else. It wasn't necessarily a stupid reason to wake me up, but at the time I was super annoyed because it sucked to wake up to a security guard yelling at you early in the morning. My girlfriend woke me up to tell me the toilet was clogged and asked if I could help. 
walked to the bathroom, watched her use the plunger to unclog the toilet and walked back into bed as she said thank you for your help. Long serving EMT been woken up on shift at lord knows what hours for, toe pain x4 weeks, gang banger with the flu. The patient who wanted to ask if she could take aspirin, picked the same guy up for the 4th time in 24 hours for no reason. People who had a nightmare, the list is endless. All young otherwise healthy people with nothing emergent or immediate happening to them. It's my job, I was on shift so I really shouldn't care, but when you work 24, 36, and 48 hour shifts, those 10 minute naps are a blessing, 1 hours a full night's sleep, and anything over that a miracle. I'm glad you like your job and I know this isn't your fault. But there is no way someone charged with possibly saving a life should be doing shifts longer than 8 hours. A nurse paged me to let me know that one of my patient's temperature had gone from 98.6 to 99.2 and just wanted me to be aware. For those not in the medical field, anything less than 100.4 is not a fever. This means that my patient went from not having a fever, to still not having a fever, and they woke me up at 4am to tell me. I once got paged at 3am, to tell me my patient's potassium was 3.6, aka normal. I also once got paged to notify me that my patient's bun was low, this means nothing clinically. I've nearly dumped my BF on more than one occasion for waking me up to ask me to pass him some water. I always have a drink bottle on my bedside table, just reach over and get it your dang self. God now I'm mad just thinking about it, but thanks Reddit. My ex would do this all the time, eventually I would always get two glasses of water, put one on her side and one on mine. Not me, but my friend's older brother was woken up by my other friend at 3am to ask for the Wi-Fi password in their house. I woke up punching myself in the face repeatedly, I must have tried to itch my nose or something and did it, then I hit myself again trying to block whatever was hitting me, I must have hit myself in the face 10 times before I woke up enough to realize what was happening, my whole arm fell asleep and it was dark. Being woken up to ask me if I want to smoke a bowl, no bro the reason I fell asleep in the first place was because I'm too high. My dad left for work with soup boiling on the stove. I woke up smelling smoke and thought someone was smoking. Window was open. Went in the kitchen. Freaked out by the smoke. I can't remember if I was actually woken up or woke up on my own. But I woke up one morning to my ex mad at me because she had a dream that I cheated on her. It was in the middle of the night and the power went out. Air conditioner was off so it was warm as heck. Couldn't go back to sleep. I really hate to wake up when the power is out. When I was little, my parents came in my room screaming that the house was on fire and while I started to heard the sirens I grabbed my cat and ran out the house in my boxes, straight into the fire department having a parade in our neighborhood for some freaking reatum. This will get buried, but my vision is so bad that I'm legally blind without glasses, nearly the highest prescription available, age 8. The Aurora Borealis is visible above my hometown for the first time in decades. My parents wake me up at 5am, rush me outside into this big clearing a few minutes walk uphill, no street lights around to freak up the view. Isn't this fantastic my father says, it must have been. Of course, I wouldn't know, because my glasses were still on my headboard at home. I work night shift I'm sure I've been woken up for lots of seemingly dumb stuff that's made worse because I sleep during the day. Phone calls, loud air horn you have won a blah blah contest. I'm calling in regards to that vehicle you don't own anymore even though you've told us to remove you from your calling list a hundred times but did you know your warranty is almost up. Was wondering if you want to work tonight even though I'm already on the schedule. And then my bless bf sleep walks sometimes. I woke up once because he brought the trash can lid to bed and put it in between us. And there was another time he was staring at the closet and I asked what he was doing and he said he couldn't figure out how to get off the ride. I had to remind him it was middle of the night and he wasn't on a ride. Had to point him to the bathroom. We were on vacation in a strange house though. I used to still wet my bed when I was almost 14 years ago and I had to stay at a special, literally translated, dry bed center for a week for actual training. 
The first night they would wake you up every hour to make you drink a glass of water. You would have a special alarm in your underwear that wakes up 20-ish people in the rooms around you as soon as you would leak one droplet. I did quite well that night. I think only one alarm for me. But my neighbors had a total of 7 alarms between the moments you had to drink another glass of water. I literally got woken up because other people wet their beds. The first night I spent with my boyfriend. He woke me up to tell me he was going to the bathroom. When I asked him why he'd woken me up to tell me that, he said it was because he didn't want to wake me when he went to the bathroom. Not me, but my friend is in a boarding school, and normally they have a thing called roll call where you have to tap on a fingerprint scanner to verify that you're in boarding when curfew begins. This one time he called the office and told them he was sleeping, so he doesn't need to wake up and do roll call, and the boarding staff called him thrice and then sent a person to his room to wake him up and ask if he was sleeping. My 5 year old son woke me up last night to ask me what happens if I get bit by a poisonous snake. I checked. He hadn't been bit. And we don't have poisonous snakes in the city where we live. Annoying little Asaka. This used to happen pretty regularly until I started locking my door. Get off duty at 7 in the morning. Head home and crawl into bed. Only to be woken in about an hour to be asked do you have duty tonight no crap. I'm still in my uniform. One shoe on my foot, trying to melt into the bed. What do you think? Probably the most unnerving though was waking up with a pair of boobs in my face. Bare boobs no less. I'm dreaming that I'm suddenly being suffocated. And wake to find my buddy's daughter. Yes, she's legal, dressed in only a towel and trying to get something off the shelf over my bed. The towel had slipped and her chest had started to suffocate me. I barely looked at her for a moment and sighed I'll get it. I muttered. Picking up a book she needed to take back to the library. Apparently she'd been getting a shower and just remembered I had the thing. Rather than wake me, she tried to get it. Only to wake me in the most unexpected way. You can tell someone's really sleepy when a hot 19 year old girl suffocates them with her breasts. And the response is to grumble something about needing sleep and rolling back over before going right back to sleep. Had a family member decide it was a great prank to wake me up 5 minutes before my alarm. For months. So I moved out and didn't speak to them for 8 years. My 15 year old daughter wanted a battery for her wireless mouse. At 5am. My 17 year old son woke me up on a Saturday morning at 8am to tell me his sister was dancing too loud. They both woke me up super early on a Sunday as they argued outside my door about not waking me up. My son never remembers that my wall is next to his gaming spot. That our walls are thin and screaming at other players over his headset mic is gonna make me storm out and mom glare him to death. Why can't my kids sleep until noon like normal teenagers? I was a scout camping and I got stuck with this little prick as a tent mate. Sure enough he wakes me up saying he needs to take a crap and he needs me to go with him because he lost his flashlight. I gave him a flashlight, but insisted I go with him because of mountain lions. This was a campsite in Fairfax, Virginia. One of the most developed counties in the freaking state, so I was forced to go with him. The little crap goes to the restroom, across the camp, and takes a 40 minute crap. When we try to take the main road back to outside he freaks out saying he saw something, and decides the best course of action is to go off road, which is strongly discouraged in scouts. After a twisted ankle and some cussing I finally get the little crap back go the tent. He then pulls out a flashlight that he had hid from me to get back into his sleeping bag. I was not happy. Late to the party but still a goodie. I was staying at my uncle's place drinking playing Halo having a good time and I called it a night around 2am. Well about 4am I wake up to him kicking in the bedroom door and screaming the snow is flying we need to get the trucks ready and get. Now my uncle takes care of the snow removal for some business but this was the middle of June. This is going to be buried but I wanted to share. I was on a cruise with some friends and sharing a room with two other girls. One of the girls woke me up at 5.30am so we could go see the sunrise. Now for some context. Not 3 years before this I finished my 4 year contract with the US Navy where I was stationed on an aircraft carrier to the Gulf. And for most of that time I work night check, night shift, 7pm 7am on deployment. 
Not only did this girl know that but on at least 10 occasions I told her the story of getting off of work to head out to the fantail and watch the sun rise over the ocean before heading to bed for the night. Also for some extra context. I am not a morning person. If I don't have to wake up early and I am woken up early I turn into a huge bee. So when she woke me up I rolled over, glared at her, and said really and rolled back over to go to sleep. But, red shirt decoy, it's the sunrise on the ocean. You have to experience this. M. If I had a dollar for every time I saw the sunrise on the ocean I would have enough money to pay someone to throw you overboard for waking me up. Now, leave me alone. I'm on vacation and I'm freaking going back to bed. This is the same woman who used to be because she heard the sunrise story so many times before this cruise, yet conveniently forgot at 5.30am on freaking vacation. A friend of mine shook me by my leg and asked if I was sleeping. I feel the tickle in my legs even if you point a finger towards them. And this bastard grabbed my leg and shook it like Batman was murdered out in the alley. I kicked the butthole in the head with my other leg. Finally one I can contribute to, my dumb bathroom mate woke me just a few days ago. I was up half the night playing video games, until about 7am, and he knew my body clock was all fricked up, so I plan on having a nice relaxing day and sleeping till late afternoon. But come 10am I get a knock on my bedroom door. I barely knew who or where the frick I was but I managed to say what. Roommate proceeds to open the door and peeks his big fricking head in and hits me with the oh I just wasn't sure if you were here or not. That's cool and peeks back out. What the frick is wrong with you man? If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.